So you got my book. Sit less. First of all, I want to say thank you. And truly, I, I want to say thank you not because I have any financial investment in this, not because, oh, great, sales are up. This was written to start this conversation, to start this movement to making our desk jobs healthier not have it destroy our lives and our health really the way that they have been that's the whole purpose that's the whole purpose this for me is a long-term game to make sure that we can really change the global culture of work okay that's the whole idea behind this book and why it was written and there's a whole other video about me talking about why i wrote it and what motivated me to write it what i want to tell you is now that you have it how do you use it how do you use this video, book the best way? Okay? So, three things I'm going to tell you about it. Three steps to get the most out of this book. The first step. At the end of each chapter, you will find your next three steps. Every chapter. Okay? Do the next three steps. That's, that's, it's as simple as that. Do them in order. So they're written specifically so that each chapter follows kind of a guide of how to get you into this habit formation a little bit easier. There are only three steps. Sometimes it will take you a couple of minutes to do the steps. Sometimes it may take a little bit longer. It, it takes a little more insight uh, or time to think through what you can change and modify. All right? Set aside a time to do it. If you can do it every single week, that's how this was designed, is to make sure that you're doing it every single week, then you're just gonna go just past when you finish chapter 11. You're gonna go just past that marker of days that we need to really solidify a new habit. Maybe that was done intentionally, I don't know. But that's the idea, is that you would be able to really get this ingrained a little bit more, which is great. But here's where the second part comes in. So the second, part that really helps you is once you've been doing this consistently and by the way if you're going there's no way I'm going to be doing it for 11 weeks all right do two or three every single week but make sure that you schedule it as a time and in between the second part is give yourself one to two goals that you're going to do by next week anything that you've learned anything that you've gathered from the three steps that you're going to apply for next week this can be as small as I'm going to go ahead and stand up for one call every single day. I'm going to go and walk at lunch for five minutes. Little things, okay? I'm going to do my morning email standing up. Something small. And it's all in here. It, it, it'll give you examples. It'll tell you what you need and what I'm talking about, all right? But having those goals keeps you accountable throughout the week. And then when you get to the next week, if you haven't actually achieved the goal, keep the goal because it means that something is lacking. Either it's the motivation to complete that goal or something just didn't fit, so you need to revisit it. It's more important for you to revisit and achieve that one than to start a new one because then you're, once again, a little bit more likely to just give up on that goal as well, all right? Make sure that you stick with the goals. The third part, all right? So we have, you're actually gonna schedule out when you're gonna do the three steps. You're gonna make little goals for yourself in between those sessions. And then the final part is, and the book reminds you at the very end, you can always go back. You can always go back and use the three steps as a little assessment tool and read through them. And the best way that you can do that is if you actually go through and as you read the chapters, highlight the portions that really mean the most to you. That you go, wow, I need to improve that or that speaks to me, I can understand that. Why that's important is, this book is short. It's 124 pages. It's not gonna take you 11 weeks to read this book. That's not the purpose. You could read this book in a week easily. It could take you 11 weeks to work through the workbook portion of this book, which is what I'm trying to get you to do. And you may forget some of the concepts. If you've highlighted, it's that much easier to come back to it. And then six months later, if you're going, how well am I doing? Bam, you've got the three steps and you can do the next thing. It's that easy, all right? So that's the best way to make sure that this book is serving you well. Do the three steps on a schedule, set goals between each week, and then finally 
set yourself up for the ability to go back and revisit the parts that are important to you because we're all going to be a little bit different. Finally, I do want to just touch on what can you do after this book. And after this book, I've got a course. You can take the Love to Move Basics course. Good course. That one really helps you with the motivation side of things uh, to make sure that you're pushing yourself to be able to do this and how to apply this. And there's a lot more downloadables about how do you really take control of all that. Good course. All right, you can find it on the website. You can work with me as on, on a one-on-one -on -one coaching where we can talk through your challenges. Also on the website, great and wonderful. Personally, don't do either one of those. Before you check out the book and check out the social media things, okay? So much of what I do about building the community and I want you to be in this community. I want you to be part of this community that's pushing this kind of culture forward to change, to make work healthy for us. I want you to be in that. So follow the social media. Ask me questions. If you've got a question you're not sure, instead of just diving into the course, ask me. I would love to answer your questions. Comment on this video. Whatever helps you. That's my goal here. My goal is to help you. We have to make desk work healthy. It's, it's really deteriorating our physical health, our mental health, and my dream and passion is to make sure that we address this. All right? Thank you for being part of this. It means more than you know.